Hey folks, I'm doing a camera accessory video here. It may seem kind of trivial to talk about a little accessory that's not that, not that, uh, or is cheap rather, um, relative to the expense of uh, the actual electronics of the camera. But I have been shooting for a little bit, and I'm not, I wouldn't say I'm an expert, but I'm experienced, I'll say that. Um, I'll let the camera focus back in here. Jeez, what's going on? Hello? Hello? Anyone? Anyone? Hello? Okay, we're back. Um, anyway, so the, uh, this is a blower. It's a Giotto blower. Okay, G-I-O-T-T-O. -T -T Got that? G-I-O-T-T-O. -T -T um, what it's used for is if you're for digital DSLR cameras, um, those get dirty easily. Sand, dirt, mud, etc. can get up in the, the uh, sensor. Um, that's no good. Some of the t uh, cameras have automated sensor cleaning tools. Um, they work, but you know they may not always work. Um, <clears throat> so if you, if you can't get a piece of dust off your sensor, there's going to be a little brown dot uh, of multiple pixels on your images. Um, it's annoying, but it's fixable, but I'd rather not spend the time fixing little dots, right? Um, so you can use this type of blower um, to you open up your lens, uh, take your lens off rather, go into the sensor cleaning setting. I t tend to put the camera upside down, uh, so the uh, sensor facing down. You kind of blow up into it like this, and this is a very powerful tool. You don't want to use any compressed air in, in your camera. That would be really bad. But this is just clean, you know, manual air. It kind of sucks it in from the bottom down here. Blows it out here. And it's a good tool to have to clean out dust, grime, dirt, uh, mainly dust from the sensors. Before you, this is like the first step to do uh, before you actually have to touch the sensor with anything, which I don't ever want to do, but you know, just you know, cleaning lenses. This one's kind of dirty, but uh, when you do this, it's kind of step one before you actually start putting in liquid into the picture, which uh, you know, I don't really want to do so much around expensive gear, uh, streaking damage is certainly that is the next step right but I mean, you can do that but I want to avoid that and for me the best way to do that is use these types of blowers I got this in a photography specific store I know that there's other you can go to like a Walgreens and buy like a, a bulb blower or something like that you might see with babies or kids that's not going to be as powerful you do need this size or this like a photo specific type of of a uh, blower here, okay? All right. Thanks, folks. Hopefully that was a helpful little tip um, uh, for photography there.